The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Today I'm on the WorldCat 320cc, and WorldCat makes a lot of claims about this boat, so today I'm here to check out her performance and do a full test. For Botest.com, I'm Captain Steve. The WorldCat 320cc has a length overall of 32 feet 2 inches and a beam of 10.6. Her top speed with the twin Suzuki 300s was 52 miles per hour, and best crews came in at 2,500 RPMs and 17.8 miles per hour, where her fuel burn was 8.1 gallons per hour and range was 595 miles. That's what the spreadsheet says anyway. In the real world, I found her to be most comfortable in the 3,000 to 3,500 RPM range. That was where my hands settled the throttle at more often than not, and that had us cruising between 23 and 28 miles per hour while burning 11 to 15 gallons per hour. Monohull boat builders will say that cat boats always lean outboard in the turn. So let's see about that right now. I'm going 34, 3500 RPMs, 27 miles an hour, and I'm going to put it into a turn. And you can see the horizon. As I hit the turn, the boat starts out level, and then it leans into the turn. There is no leaning outboard. As I stabilize the turn, come back to straight, we're flat again. That was to starboard, so let's take the torque factor of the engines out of it. I'll do another turn to port. We're now going into a head seat. I come around to port. The boat starts out level and then leans right into the turn. So there is no outboard leaning in the turns. Now the only thing about the 320cc that could be considered uncomfortable is when you put it into a turn, because it starts to turn flat, it throws you out to the side of the turn, but you get over it real quickly. Once you know what's going to do it, you're prepared for it. Then it starts to lean into the turn, and now you're more stabilized. But that said, this isn't a sport boat. This isn't a boat for skiing and, and tubing and wakeboarding. This is an offshore performance fishing machine, and for that purpose, it does what it does excellent. Now putting the boat into a head seat, it's throwing the water out to the sides quite nicely and it's taking the waves very gently. There's absolutely no pounding going on in this hull. It's a very nice and comfortable ride. Heading back downwind with a following seat, there's no tendency to push the boat around at all, so it's still very comfortable. But as I come down into the seat, it digs in and throws water heavily out to the sides. And I can adjust that a little bit by just trimming up and I'm going right on through this following seat and it's much more comfortable. Now in a beam seat, it's a dream boat. I mean, it is such a nice, smooth ride and it's riding nice and level. We're not even going up and over the waves. We're slicing through them without even throwing much water at all. I like the handling of a World Cat a lot better for getting in and around the dock because the engines are so far apart. I just have better maneuverability. When it comes to the height of the center console, I'd like to see the option for a molded in step just so someone my height can have better visibility over the top. Well, there's our look at the performance and handling of the WorldCat 320cc. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.